On the phone is New York Governor Kathy Hochul to give us the latest on uh, what's happening around Western New York. Good morning, Governor. Thanks for joining us here on Daybreak. Tell us the latest this morning. Well, good morning, and thank you for your great coverage of what's happening in real time and also uh, what we expect to happen tomorrow during the Bills game. Uh, we have done a lot of work over the night. The driving ban allowed our crews to work with the county and the city crews to really make sure the roads are safer, and I think that's important. And I want to thank Western New Yorkers for listening to the messaging about getting their groceries earlier, checking in on people, uh, being aware of warming centers, and really just staying off the road. So I just wanted to give a, a message of gratitude. It's been hard. I know that people's lives have been disrupted, but we'll get through this as we always do. Uh, Buffalo strong, and it's, it's really part of uh, who we are. We, we're used to storms, but sometimes there's that, uh, that combination of the, the wind and the, and the bitter cold and the snow, and that confluence really creates the dynamic, which can be dangerous, as you've been so thoroughly reporting. And, and I want to say we've had great coordination with County Executive Mark Polencars, Mayor Byron Brown. I was with their teams yesterday uh, talking to them again this morning. So I just want to let people know in Western New York that uh, they've done a great job. Uh, their government is working in coordination. And uh, we see the end over the horizon, although I live in the city, I'm in Buffalo right now, and the winds off the lake are strong, And but I'm used to it. I'm from Hamburg originally, so uh, we, we will get through this together. Yeah, Governor Hochul, uh, many people wondering this morning when the travel ban will be lifted for Western New York. Any update on that? We will be assessing that hour by hour at this point. Uh, again, the, the blowing drifts, uh, particularly heading back toward the south town, are very, very dangerous. I don't want the ban to be one minute longer than necessary, but not one minute too short. So we expect it'll be off this afternoon. We will give the exact time uh, over the next couple of hours because I know West New Yorkers want to know. But them following this ban really made a huge difference in our ability to respond, get the roads salted, get them clear. So in the long term, we'll be better off for this uh, short-term disruption. But I'm grateful for the people who abided by it. We also, uh, because I directed our, our three-way plows and the state police to be enforcing the travel ban even earlier on, on empty tractor trailers and the tandem trucks, which are more vulnerable to tipping over and causing those jackknife conditions, which can be so paralyzing. We did not have any major problems overnight, which is almost unheard of in a storm of this scale. So it's all about being ready early. We've been preparing for this since Wednesday, getting resources in place, and even the power outages. Uh, I want. I have our head of the Public S uh, Service Commission here in Western New York, along with all of my statewide commissioners, embedded with us here. And the power outages are about 4,000 statewide, but a fairly limited number are in Western New York, which is really good news considering what it could have been. Yeah, and, and you had a little uh, thing about like a, a Bills playoff game to discuss over the weekend as well. Give us the inside story about how that discussion went with league, with the the league and also uh, local officials. Well, I knew this was important to Western New York, but also the safety of the fans who live here and those who are traveling was paramount. Uh, so I reached out to the NFL on Thursday to just to tell them what we're seeing as far as forecasts and there was talk of moving the game to another city and I said well let us give a little more time to get real accurate information we have a new New York State uh, extreme weather risk analysis center which gives us really accurate information I said let's wait till Friday to assess this let's talk again Saturday morning and make sure we know exactly what is going to happen we didn't want to make there be a disruption to the game today unless we knew we really had to but it became so clear and I had another conversation Friday another one yesterday morning uh, with the league and I said uh, our recommendation is that that game move to Monday keep it in Western New York and uh, the conditions should be you know cold we can handle cold but uh, it will not have that uh, the triple effect of the the high wind the lake effect snow the cold uh, and uh, and just the, the amount of snow that's coming down so we'll be able to handle the game much better on Monday much safer and I could not have been happier when uh, they agreed with our recommendation. Yeah, hopefully safer for the Bills fans and uh, better play for the Bills also tomorrow yeah. at 430. Thanks to that decision. All right. Thank you very much, Governor Ockel, and we'll look forward to talking to you throughout the day with the uh, latest on those travel bans and advisories. And we All just right. have